Greetings and welcome to this edition of the Gritty One demonstration video series. In this example, we're going to walk you through how to do yield rate analysis of your test data. So in this case, you go to the Gritty One Analysis Studio and you select yield rate. We're going to use one of the batches that you've already created. In this case, we'll use the CM1000 batch. Again, it performs a compatibility check of the results to make sure that the types of data that you're running through the analysis engine is consistent. So you won't be comparing frequency domain data versus time domain data and so forth. Once this is complete, you configure the parameters for the yield analysis. First, we will call this the CM1000 yield analysis. We'll select for the variable measurement that could be a different set of variables based off of your own data. And then we will enter in a limit of 88.0 for the high limit and 87.0 for the low limit. And when you click confirm, it starts the analysis. The analysis is complete. Let's take a look at the results. Okay, here are the results of the yield analysis. Okay, we have the configuration settings here. Okay, it looks like 75 passed and 925 failed. We'll give you the yield percentage, and then we'll give you the table of all the results that were pumped through the engine. If you want to take a look at just the passes, then you would click the pass number, and then it adjusts to show you all the ones that would pass, again, between 88 and 87. And conversely, if you wanted to see the failures, you would click the fail number and you would see all those. What's pretty cool about how this works is any of these results can subsequently be drilled down into. So let's say you want to take a look at this failure, wow, 36.2. You would click on that result ID associated with that test result. And then it will take you to that particular test result that you had stored on the Grady One platform. Yep, there's a measurement result, 36.2, a variety of other metadata. You know, maybe different components, serial numbers, and so forth. And then if you wanted to do things like share this result with your team, say, hey folks, look at this failure. And then you could maybe share that with an alias or a particular user. I'll send this to Tommy, who works here at Grady One as our architect. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use these embedded features when your entire data set is stored in the Green One Cloud. Instead of having to parse data, dump it into a spreadsheet, or maybe build your own script, it's available for use um, at your fingertips, all using a web browser. And if you ever want to go back and take a look at those results again, you would go to the analysis library where you would select CM1000 yield analysis. Again, we have a thumbnail that gives you a general sense of what it is to easily draw your attention to it. And then you would click it, and then you would be taken to it. So thank you for tuning in. Check back for more videos in the days to come. Thanks.